Hey there, gang, and welcome to the locker room. Coach Giggs here, and today's message, the power of positive thinking. Yep, that's right. I haven't been able to leave this place because it's beautiful, it's gorgeous. So I figured, let me get a few moments in here and record a few of these locker rooms for you guys because I'm loving it here. Today's message, very simple. The power of positive thinking. You know, every day that I wake up, my mind starts to race. I start to think about the day that I'm about to enter, maybe some of the things that I have, that I have to do on my to-do list, the people that I have to reach out to, responsibilities I have, etc. And if I'm not careful, if I wake up with this attitude of, oh God, like a, a kind of a, oh, shit, I got this to do, that to do, and I start out a little negative, I've noticed it impacts my day. So I really have learned from the beginning of time and I need to continue to know that there is power in positive thinking, to believing that today is gonna be the best day of my life. That today things are gonna happen that are gonna be so exciting, so awesome. That today I'm gonna get one step closer towards that dream that I'm dreaming about, that goal that I'm looking to accomplish. Only positive thinking, possibility thinking, is gonna create that. Negative thinking will prevent you from believing, therefore prevent you from doing the things that you wanna do because you're not believing. We've heard it again and again and again, and we know this, that people who are positive, people who have hope, people who have faith, they're just a lot more fun to be around. I wanna be around positive people, don't you? Yes. So in order to be around positive people, we have to be that person. And then we spread that. Norman Vincent Peale, The Power of Positive Thinking. If you haven't read it, go get it, especially if you're struggling in this area and you're thinking, well, wait a minute, Giggs, it's easy for you to say, look at where you're at, or it's easy for you to say, blah, 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 blah. We, we tend to give ourselves these excuses as to why we can't do or have or be what we wanna do, be or have. And I call bullshit on that. It's up to you, it's built inside of you. Greatness is in there. You gotta bring it out, you gotta be positive. You gotta see the silver lining. You gotta see the good in every single bad situation. That's right. I did this when I had my motorcycle accident. I had to see what's the good that's gonna come out of this. And I had to meditate on that. I had to create affirmations around that. What's the good out of my business completely tanking and failing and not achieving what I thought it would? Where's the good? Where's the lessons in that? A failed divorce. Well, I can look at that and be upset about it and negative about it. I have a choice. I can be positive and say, well, what did I learn? How am I going to be better for this experience? And take responsibility for what happened there, not blame the other person. That is positive thinking. It's not some Pollyanna, oh, I'm just going to be positive, yeah, and all things are going to get better by themselves. No, don't work that way. You got to dig in a little bit. You got to look for the good. You got to find it. Reminds me of these two kids at Christmas time. They both got huge piles of horse The parents wanted to do an experiment because one of their kids was so negative, so miserable, always complaining about everything, and the other one complained about nothing. So what do you think happened? The one kid that was excited about it looked at that horse, starts throwing it everywhere, excited. The other one gets all pissed off, looks at his mother, father, mom, dad, what the hell is this? I asked for a bike, I asked for a baseball, you give me a pile of horse well, guess what happened? They turned to the other one. Son, why are you so excited? What, what is going on here, Toya? Well, with all this horse here, there's got to be a horse somewhere. All right, you didn't like that joke? I liked it when I heard it. Listen, there's got to be a horse somewhere if you got a lot of horse going on in your life. Message over. I hope you get the point. I think you do. Love you guys. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.